Welcome back to the farm. This is Scrumptious Scott. I don't know what that was, but we're in episode 9 of the fall here on Nook and Granny Gaming. And, uh... uh Doppler effect, let's get going. So last time we... Pachow put some gold wire in the Pachangi, and then it went Pachow over here. I already said Pachow. It went, uh, ba... chisel. Mmm. So... Now, the ceiling panel is loose. Good. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, electrical disturbance. So, I can't interact with it. Except for with bullets. Oh, he's afraid of light. Decayed hand. A decayed hand. You know what I'm thinking. Yeah. Unless you haven't been watching. There are two different the snoos are separated. Be delicated with it. Delicated? Delicated. That's a word that just came out of my mouth. If you haven't been watching and today is your first episode, thank you for joining us. Uh please go back and watch the rest of the series, because it's fun. It's a good game. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. So, there are palm... There are palm identifiers! On some walls! Yes. As I was saying, there are... There are two palm print readers on a couple different sections inside the uh, the house over there, and there's one upstairs in the in the second floor. Also, <coughs> what the f f fuck? That scared the crap out of me. Oh, I was ready for you. You feel lucky, do you? Huh? Uh oh, we got another one. How do I hide? Okay. Ah, oh, I tried to time it. Hmm. All right. Those really scared the crap out of me. I was not prepared. Apparently maintenance robots are not allowed to fumble with the power. Jeez. Scared the daylights out of me for some reason. I just was not prepared for that. I've been so alone. I've been so alone up here. A partially decayed hand. Yeah, cool. I shouldn't take my hands off the keyboard. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Really now. Moving on up to C five seven. Yes, I know. Use S to climb down the stairs. Stop it. The kill tube. I'm in something called the kill tube. I love it. The kill tube for the cleaning room test. It is damaged and ready to break. Cause I'm about to break. So this whole tube's about to break? A damaged rusty bracket. I wonder if I should shoot it. I'm very good at shooting things. Oh, what the garbaggio. I'm not really sure what happened there. What does the mushroom say? What does mushroom say? A large fungal cluster. I'm unaware of the species. So exactly what it says about it upstairs. I see a little computer terminal. I'm gonna look around a little bit. I'm gonna nook and cranny it up and look around a little bit. A standard superductive fluid. Well, <laughs> of course I'm gonna take it. I love my superconductive fluids. A note left hanging on the wall. Another log! I love logs. Oh, don't. Well, it's too late. Hey, Levi. If Miss Wilson wants to run this place into the ground, that's her call, I guess. But if the main boards don't get enough superconductive fluid... Huh? They will burn out, and the domestic canardists... Domestic can... Can... Can artists... Con... Con artists... 
Ugh, so smart. Con artists won't be happy. Fluid's way cheaper than hardware. True. Apply the superconductive fluid to the circuitry until it glows bright red. Turn the lights off. On the radio. Turn those lights out. Turn that shit up. Lights off if you have to. I totally butchered those Beastie Boy lyrics. When you're done... It properly the, when you're done it when you've done it properly the main board will light up like Wilson's angry face. Mr. Wilson, thanks, man. Let me know if you got any questions. Sincerely, Brian. I love Brian. Good guy. Oh, it's so weird because there's the second floor. My flashlight penetrates solid matter. That's cool and goofy. I don't mind. A small power generator, it has been switched off. I probably should have just checked out... Okay, so we got another palm print DNA scanner. Ooh, I'm hearing some gross stuff. I thought some slugs were about to bust out and do a dance-off. Alright, so what we learned from that last log is I can't read. On top of... We need to apply the superconductive fluid to the main boards so it'll light up like Mr. Wilson's stupid face. Or Mrs. Wilson. Oh, so we get the we get the backstory on Dennis the Menace here. Mr. Wilson's wife runs Domesticon. Okay, so yeah, let's go check out that computer terminal. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. This, oh man, it's so good. A computer terminal. Is this where I put the superconductive fluid? Computer terminal with log files pertaining to the various tasks associated with the tests. Hey, we're cheating within a video game. Not cheating, but we're totally cheating on our test within a video game. I like it. Child care. Status, all systems normal. Maintenance instructions. The infant's microphone, processor, and transceiver should be checked for degradation on a bi-monthly basis. Process. Description. When the infant emerges from the crib, it will begin emitting an auditory signal that the test panel review receives. My lord, what are words? Participants must relay a particular melody to suppress the signal. Huh. The required melody will be randomly selected from the lullaby data bank when the test is initiated. If the participant succeeds in suppressing the infant's auditory signal within the allotted time frame, they will be validated. Okay, so that's why it gives you multiple tries. I'm sure that there are multiple lullabies to try out. I'm, hell, I don't know. Food prep. Yeah, hey, that sounds familiar. The food area should be sterilized after every test. This is an appropriate task for the caretaker droid. Standard scanner maintenance is sufficient for this test. The kitchen scanner is calibrated to detect animal, animal protein. Oh, I'm totally going to have to put this head on that table. Theoretically, a false reading could be relayed if the food site were contaminated. However, probability testing suggests that this is extremely unlikely. We take pride in the sterility of our testing environments. Well, have you checked them out lately? Kind of covered in fungus and ash, like Silent Hill. Cleaning. We've already done cleaning. Yes, yes. Quite, quite. Beautification. <laughs> Standard scanner maintenance is sufficient for this test. Mainframe connection, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Description. Beautification tests the re retention of aesthetic pattern imprints. Properly calibrated domestic droids will choose flowers that match the current seasonal colors. This system's data is set via direct uplink to facilities mainframe. If this connection is broken, the date can be set manually from this terminal. So we just have to change the date on the terminal to make them purple. We don't have to change the color of the flowers, we just change the date. That's like an Animal Crossing when you wanted to get KK Slider's song sooner. You just change your date to Friday and hang out by the train station. I'm old school, yo. Networking wire. I cannot. I'm not 100% sure why I did that, but I had the option, so I figured I'd do it. So let's. 
No, wait, it said that we could change the date, right? Systems date can be set via direct uplink to the facility's mainframe. If the connection is broken, the date can be set manually. Manually set date! I knew what I was doing the whole time. Winter purple. I'm so good. I'm so, so good. So, the only thing that I haven't found are the lullabies. Now, I could go downstairs and complete a few of the tests and then head upstairs. Or we could check out the handprint at the end of this hallway. So many options! And I am all about uh, trying out everything. I love seeing all of it. So, I'm going to go down here. And we're going to test out the end of the hallway first. And then there's this guy. The small power generator has been switched off. Oh, so there's an on switch. That was loud and dramatic. Ooh, and there's all kinds of things now. Man, maybe switching the power on wasn't such a good idea. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Looking great. I had to quit uh, quit recording for just a moment there, and when I came back, I guess I forgot to hit record. So we haven't missed. You haven't missed much at all. I'm just gonna say that all I did was I went downstairs. I used the head for here. Guess what? It works. Oh, can I take it with me? I cannot. So that worked, and I passed that test. And now uh, I also just did the purple flowers. And since we changed the date on the machine, we're good to go there. Now next, we're gonna head upstairs. Whoop! Wrong button. We're gonna head upstairs and check out, uh, not the lullabies, not the baby, because we need the lullabies to do the baby challenge. At least I'm assuming. I really don't want anything bad to happen, uh, and I can't remember if it said that it was, like, predestined lullabies, or if, or not predestined, that's a really awfully big word for that. If you get to choose from different lullabies, or if you have to know the lullabies in advance in order to succeed. But since I'm moving on to the, the second level, portion of your examination will test your capacities in unfamiliar and less predictable interactions. Remember, all humans are your superior, not only those who own your serial code and kill switch. Does this process require acquisition of all possible merit points? Yep. Eight of eight. Four domestic, then four more from these civic tests. Once you've got them all, I can let you through to the medical equipment. Good. Gotta save our pilot, guys. That probably sounded like super sarcastic or like forced, but like for real, I love this game. I love the concept and I love everything about it. So, having to save the pilot that's within the suit is so cool. So as you can see, I decided to go back down. Let's try out the lullabies. What's the worst can happen? We could die. I guess. They could kill a baby. They wouldn't kill a baby. As I come across a person nailed to a a board stand, as they called it. Let's try it out. Let's do this. Uh, oh boy. Humans should not concern themselves with, with basic, basic needs, because they're lazy. Will test your ability to I think I've said they're lazy before, but they're really lazy. When they do not know what they want, an upset baby will emerge from the crib. Without physical contact, comfort the child to make it stop crying. You have 20 seconds per attempt, and multiple attempts are permitted. I know how to shut that baby up. I got this gun, see? Oh, comfort. I see. My bad. My bad, guys. Sorry. Just thought I had figured it out. I am ready to proceed with this test. Try it out. Let's smother it in superconductive fluid. Yeah, I don't know at all. Humans should not concern themselves with basic. This room will an upset baby will emerge. You have 20 seconds per attempt. And okay, so attempt. it's I obvious will... that it said that it will select from, I believe, four or five random lullabies, and then we have to perform the right one. I will make fun of that mushroom every time I pass it up. I can't help it. 
So, somewhere down the line, I'm gonna have to learn where these lullabies are and where they're coming from. So we're gonna head back upstairs to the civic duties. <laughs> so what's all this look like all lit up? Not very different. ID scanner, which I don't have. Another ID scanner, which I do not have. I don't have an ID, right? No, okay. Um, let's check this out. Let's do this. Graduation. When you successfully complete your evaluation, you will be allowed access to this elevator at All ground right. level. You will undergo a final hardware evaluation, then be rerouted to shipping and receiving. Hardware evaluation. How invasive is this hardware evaluation? I must be certain my pilot will not be endangered. Yeah, One of our highly skilled technicians will. Don't worry about it. There are no technicians left to meet you. Once you're through here, you're home free. Alright, Hank. I'm trusting you. I will return. Alright. So what's going on here? Am I gonna get pushed or crushed or- Oh boy, what just happened? What in the world? Let's figure out what this challenge is and then I'm gonna have to cut it. Complete all domestic tests on lower level before beginning civic testing. Oh wow. So there it is. We gotta figure out where those lullabies are, where we learn those, because we have to finish the lullaby test before we can move on to the stuff that's upstairs. There was a handprint in this house over here. Maybe we can go do that real quick. Oh, that guy. Oh, they're all lit up. Wooden people. <sighs> oh, I don't like wooden people. Oh, God, I don't like this. Oh, what in the frickin' Frank? An illuminated party goer. He looks like he's supposed to be intoxicated. Oh, I don't like any of this. It's creeping my out. Creeping my out. Well, if you heard that buzzing, you know that my time is up. So next time, let's do it this time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, it's down. I was trying to hit W. I was like, go up, climb. Now. Ooh, we're in another tube. All right, well, next time we'll find out what this note says on the wall. Figure out where the lullabies are. Figure out how to get all the merits done on the upstairs level now with the crazy moving cars and lit up wooden people that I don't like at all. So thank you for watching very, very much. I am Scrumptious Scott, and I am here with Nook and Cranny Gaming doing the fall. And I will see you in episode 10.